Good morning. This is Monty once again from DPL Surveillance Equipment. Uh, we have three dis three distinguishing things that separate us from the competition. Uh, we have lifetime guarantees and warranties in all the products. We have 24-7, 365 tech sales and customer support. We have the largest um, inventory of items that not only can you buy, but you can rent or lay away as well. Thank you. We have perhaps, perhaps the largest um, uh, inventory of uh, state-of-the-art law enforcement grade products and the largest video library, a demonstration video library, where we actually demonstrate all of the products and show you how to use them. And so, yeah, take a look at the video library when you get a chance. We're constantly uh, beefing it up or adding more to it and trying to tweak it to make it more easy to use, find videos, etc., etc. So yeah, take a look at the video library. We're constantly adding new videos and features, etc., etc., to the video library. Uh, at the top of each page, there's going to be some links, home about us, contact us, um, articles, etc. Look, click on video library and take a look at the two or three hundred videos where we're demonstrating everything from bug detectors to nanny cameras to x-ray baggage scanners. <laughs> You name it, we're demonstrating it for you. So, um, and, and in addition to that, we have a, um, a rental program. And a lot of our customers are using the rental program as a type of try before you buy program. So, yeah, look at the video live, look at the, uh, the rental program in terms of using it as a financing program so that you can. Um, uh, make a few payments, rental payments, convert it into a purchase. If you like the product, and you just keep the product and consider it yours. They're lifetime guaranteed and warranted. And also, a lot of customers use, their, use our layaway program as well as a type of financing program. <laughs> Thank you. You make payments for like six months, 12 months, and at the end of that period, just convert it into a purchase. Uh, or, or, or it's converted into a purchase, rather with that final payment, uh, which, which will include shipping. So that'll be your final payment after six or 12 months under the layaway program. And that's another way of financing your purchase, okay? Thank you. And um, let's see, lastly, we, um, we, we try to come up with interesting articles, okay? Today is Friday, and um, we're... Um, we found an interesting article. The subject for this particular article is about law firms uh, seem to be assisting money launderers, okay? Again, there's some loopholes in the law that actually allow people to money, uh, uh, launder money in a way through, through what was known as um, pool, pooled accounts, P-O-L-L-E-D, pooled accounts in law firms. Um, there's laws that have been on the books that go back for at least 30 years where law firms actually, um, were allowed to, um, pull money together and that money would be put into short-term accounts and, uh, it was actually designed to help offset the cost of legal aid for poorer people. But um, somehow that money started to be used for very, very wealthy people. Um, let's see if I can find that information. Okay, the, uh, technically, the, uh, these accounts are called um, I-O-L-T-A-S, or I'm sorry, I O L T A or IOTAS um, for for interest on interest on lawyer trust accounts. That's um, interest on lawyer trust accounts. Uh, law firms hold certain other client money in individual clients' names other than the, the I O T A S accounts. Okay, uh, let's see. So this actually goes back. Uh, I think Congress actually came up with the idea. Um, let's see. So, yeah, 
you know, um, this is not a, a, a new concept, but uh, what happens sometimes is Congress will, will um, come up with an idea um, and they have, you know, good intentions, of course, in terms of what, the, what Congress is trying to do, in this case, create uh, accounts for, for um, offsetting the cost of legal aid, providing legal aid to poor people. But, of course, uh, sometimes very, very wealthy people, they um, actually start taking advantage, and lawyers are actually helping uh, so what happens is law firms lump together client money they are holding for short periods, such as while a real estate while, while real estate sales uh, are pending uh, into pooled accounts, pooled accounts, and the law firms face no requirement to disclose whose cash is in the accounts. Uh, banks say they generally see only a firm's name. Money often stays in the accounts for only a few days or weeks at the request of law firms' clients. Funds can be sent from the accounts to other parties with scant transparency, while banks and other firms that move money across borders face heavy pressure to alert regulators to suspicious activity. Um, U.S. law firms protect the confidentiality of their pooled accounts in the name of attorney-client privilege. Um, so one of the major scandals that expose how this works and what's going on and how much money is involved actually was centered around a Malaysian, uh, Malaysia and Malaysian state fund. Uh, one, the, the number one, MDB, that's the number one, Mary David Boy, or one MBD, um, originated, again, origin, originating out of Asia. There is a very, very large uh, fund, a state fund, which was used to um, provide some very, very lavish uh, uh, perks, if you will, to some uh, particular people in Malaysia. Uh, tens of billions of dollars every year move through opaque law firm bank accounts that create a gap in U.S. money laundering defenses, according to a Wall Street Journal analysis. Uh, these accounts were used by suspects in a multi-billion dollar scandal involving a Malaysian state investment fund known as the number one MDB. Uh, according to a Justice Department description of events, they also played a part in a Florida Ponzi scheme in a case related to an official of Equatorial uh, Guinea and in a dozen other U.S. money laundering cases over the past decade. Case records show. Um, Again, these are supposedly, they were originally used for short-term accounts for uh, assisting the poor people. Um, money often stays in the accounts for only a few weeks, uh, a few days or weeks. Um, that's the way it was supposed to work. And uh, the result is a way of getting money into the U.S. system without going through the anti-money laundering safeguards, says Elise Bean, former chief chief counsel to a Senate investigating subcommittee that analyzed vulnerabilities in the banking system. It's a pretty darn, uh, a pretty darn big loophole, that's what she said. Um, the Financial Action Task Force, a global group that sets international standards for money laundering, for anti-money laundering procedures, has called the law firm accounts a vulnerability. In a December report assessing American efforts to fight financial crime, the group cr criticized the U.S.'s limited oversight of lawyers who are not required to flag suspicious financial activity. Um, looks like the American Bar Association president, Linda A. Klein, said the ABA supports the legal profession's effort to prevent misconduct involving client money. Additional financial reporting requirements would be unnecessary and burdensome, she said, because there are a few examples of client trust accounts being misused. Um, Ms. Klein said the ABA has supported guidance to alert lawyers to suspicious situations and will continue supporting reasonable efforts to fight money laundering in ways that minimize the impact on the attorney-client privilege and clients' rights to effective counsel. Um, most pooled accounts aren't the law firm's idea. Many state courts or legislatures mandate that lawyers combine small sums of client money 
and funds held only briefly as a way to generate interest to fund legal aid to the poor. Um, so again, this is uh, something that wasn't exactly created by the lawyers, but it's definitely used by lawyers and their and their clients to um, get around uh, anti money laundering accounts. So I'm gonna, I'm not gonna go into as much detail, uh, any more detail rather, because I'm gonna include this with a um, an article that 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 does go into detail. But it looks like this is another case where um, if you're really wealthy, then you can get away with uh, with get away with anything. <laughs> but on the other hand, if you're you know a, a working Joe and 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 you have to go to work every single day and you try to comply with the laws and and, and go along with the system, then 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 you don't get a chance to take advantage of these loopholes and gray areas. So yeah, unfortunately, it looks like a net, another another sad situation where the the rich and the wealthy get all the the benefits and and and, and get a chance to get around complying with laws as compared to the working people who have to comply with the laws and adhere to the rules and, and they get nowhere fast, okay? So, again, this article explains how to use law firms to get around anti-money laundering laws and it gives you all sorts of cases and tells you why this is going to be a, a difficult issue going forward to, 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 to change anything. So it looks like this is going to be status quo, status quo for the foreseeable future. Um, we appreciate it when you guys um, join us in these particular sessions. We look forward to having you back in the next session. And as we like to say at the conclusion of each and every um, podcast, uh, share this with a friend, relative, associate, enemy. We don't care. Just share it with someone. And let's see if we can make uh, sense out of uh, of, of things that are going on in the world, and in addition to making the world a safer place. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys um, uh, have, have a, enjoy your Friday and go out and do something fun, and uh, we'll be in touch. If you have any questions regarding the bug detectors, the uh, nanny cameras, the trackers, listening devices, etc., etc., uh, give us a call, uh, 888-344-3742. That's 888 888- 344-3742. Okay. Have a good day. Thanks. Take care. Bye.